Hello. Hello! Look at that, we did that together. Oh, unison. Nice. Unison, I like yeah, it. like a couple of divers. Like a couple of divers? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, what do they oh, synchronised. Synchronised. Oh, right, That's okay. Um, so, hello, we're back. Uh, I want to start off by uh, apologising. Uh, we're calling this podcast Naked Ladies. So if you've searched for us and found this as Naked Ladies and it's not what you're expecting... Uh, we do apologise, but we just kind of wanted to draw more people in. Now that you're here, though, welcome. Hello. Um, we should probably actually put a picture of a naked lady as well. I'll let you sort that out. Sort of more to come. <laughs> <laughs> more to come. If you if you like, listen right to the end, and you might get a treat. <laughs> Perhaps that sounded wrong. Okay. Forget that. <laughs> a podcast with a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, my name is Rich. And I am Jake. And uh, yeah, welcome to our, our podcast. Um, so yeah, how's things? Good. Yes, very good. Um, busy again, you know, work, 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 work. Summer, nama, nama, work, work. <laughs> you know, just like Rihanna said, that famous quote from Rihanna. Oh, man. Her summer song nama. is exactly like my life. It's work, 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 and then the rest, I just don't understand what I'm doing. We've all seen the meme. <laughs> oh! Okay, I stole that one. <laughs> <laughs> not the first joke, joke he's stolen, and definitely not the last. No, never. But yes, no, I was, um, <laughs> I was watching, uh, I was watching YouTube earlier. Okay. And, um, <laughs> and the, the, like, this advert came on, and it was just this woman singing, and, like, the camera work, panning. Right. She was on a cliff edge, right, of course, that's where I go to sing. <laughs> but, um, and I thought... It's the Eurovision Song Contest, right? Without reading anything, without seeing anything, I thought okay. it's, it's Eurovision. It's got that feel to it that's like kind of desperate and sad. <laughs> it's like this isn't a real person who's like got talent. This is somebody who's been thrust forward for, like by a nation. It's like you represent us now. Don't mess it up. Okay. Right. So there was this desperation, and I thought, right. So you know, this has got me thinking, and then uh, somebody. Decided to show me uh, a clip from uh, Greece, 2009. Savas Ruvas. Savas apparently. Ruvas, perhaps. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I've heard his name is. But and I just realised. I realised that most. So when an artist releases a song, yeah, yeah they release it, and it like there's a, there's a certain gravitas to it. There's a certain. I don't know, respect to it. Like I look at an artist, a normal artist, and right. think, you know. They're doing all right. They they earn enough money, uh -huh. right? And they're doing well for themselves. But when it's Eurovision, it's like <laughs> everybody tries far too hard, and it's like they've never. They, it's like they haven't like come up to the times. They've not. They're not in this era still. Yeah. Like the Eurovision is like going back in time. So right, you. Okay. So 2015 Eurovision, it would be like Romania have put forward their person. Yeah. Right? And he comes out. In a great big open white shirt that you used to get in the 90s, right? There's <laughs> yeah. so much air blowing around, right? <laughs> you see nipples going everywhere. Not going everywhere. But not, <laughs> not like falling up. But like, Watch your eye! <laughs> and he's got hair slicked back to the max. Right. And he's singing about sexy girl, you are a sexy girl, like this. And you you think, do that too well. And you think, you haven't, no, you haven't, like witnessed music and its and its evolution at all. Yeah. And you're still doing stuff that they were doing like back in the nineteen seventies and when you watch it you think, this is god awful. And I'm guessing you don't are... like Eurovision then. I have celebrated Eurovision every <laughs> single year since I was about since I can remember. Right. But <clears throat> every year it's 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 like watching The X Factor. Right. But Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very confusing watching Eurovision. I think it's 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 a thing that probably shouldn't happen anymore. I don't think that right. And okay. I think it causes more trouble than good for Europe. Right, or okay. Europe. I did inverted commas obviously you guys <laughs> no, can't see. No one can see that. You can hear the clicking of my fingers, but um yeah, it's it, because everybody just hates each other. And it's not a like, oh, well done for singing. It's Oh, we don't like the way you pay your taxes, so we're not going to nil you. point. You know, so if you were prime minister, you'd get rid of it. it I don't think I, like any prime minister has that power. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, Do they not? I think Eurovision has gone beyond that now. It's like a, it's like this big looming sword of Damocles that nobody wants to nudge in case it 
completely wipes out Europe oh, as a dear. whole. All right, well, we're taking it a bit more fun, though. Have you never been to a Eurovision party where you've... <laughs> oh, no, you started using big words that were longer than four letters, and I, I get lost. Um, <laughs> told you I've shortened the yeah. video name. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> Have you never been to a Eurovision party though and gone in fancy dress? Yes, yes, of course, yes. What's your best outfit? Right, okay, I've only done it the once. Okay, right, and you everybody... went as a woman though, didn't you? No, no. No! This is, this is one of the first times I've ever dressed up and not dressed up as a woman. Okay. Um, but yeah, everyone was getting good countries. It was France, it was Spain, it was Germany, and then it comes to me, I pick my thing out of the hat. I right. got Bosnia and Herzegovina. <laughs> okay. Right. You tell me right now. Yeah. How do you dress up as Bosnia and Herzegovina? I, I wouldn't go. <laughs> no. I, I, I don't. I, I, I think I dressed up as an army person. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I was told to by somebody much, much smarter than me. Oh, dear. Because they knew stuff about. I've only done it once and I dressed up and I we drew countries out of a hat mm. and I got turkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can show you pictures. I got turkey. Yeah. So I had longer hair. Mm-hmm. So we, you grew hair for this. No, I didn't party. grow it for it. Like I only had a week to prepare. Like, <laughs> my hair grows quick, but yeah, <laughs> just straining, forcing it, out. <laughs> pushing the hair out of my it's head like, like that a play doh machine. machine. Yes. We are still in unison. Uh, oh god. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I wore, I, I slicked my hair back with quite a lot of hair gel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put fake tan on. Of course. But I mean. A lot of fake tan. I'm not sure if this is going down a racial route, but I don't Mom, know. I don't know. I'm pale. I don't exactly look <laughs> Turkish, so I had to, I no, had to look true. native. And then I think I may have drew on a goatee, mm-hmm. and course. I wore a string vest. Was it just one single line goatee? Uh, like, no, I think I went the whole Oh, you went the whole hog. hog. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so that was fun, but... You know me though, I hate fancy dress. Yeah. Well, speaking of Turkey, yeah. uh, I recently went to Turkey. Okay. And have you ever been? Uh, not Turkey, no. No. Uh, it's it's an incredible place. It's a place, for, it's, it's like, it's like going to a place, it's like going to the Eurovision Song Contest. It's like going back <laughs> in time, right? Because so, it's like, you're walking down the market and they're all yelling stuff like, come here, buy this, and they grab you sometimes. And, yeah. Uh, but usually there's police there. Obviously, <laughs> with giant machine guns. But anyway, always. We're not talking about that. Um, but yeah, so you're walking down the market and they yell stuff. And one of the, I've got two examples of the best things that have ever been shouted at me from a Turkish vendor. Oh, go on. So I was walking down. And it's like, oh, cheap here, cheap here. Oh, you buy here, you buy here. And somebody was selling watches. And he went, genuine fake watches, <laughs> right? <laughs> genuine fake watches. In and like, he's not lying. But that's the thing. They are so. They don't care. They have. No. They they just have this complete lack of care about the <laughs> entire country. But it's it's a lovely place. But yeah, the second one was um, was everybody was doing the same cheap cheap, and the, uh, some guy shouted cheaper than shoplifting, <laughs> which I thought was just perfect, just perfect. There I mean, is nothing how, cheap. but I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, they like to they like to do it. But it's all friendly. It's all jovial. Like they don't take themselves too seriously. Yeah, they don't sort of. Harass you, but they do. They have loads of different shops everywhere. That because um, obviously that the, they are trying to sort of get into the Western culture and yeah, you yeah. Because they want people to come to Turkey and spend money and you know and get themselves a little bit of a tourist yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then there's an Asda. Yeah, right. But it's as Asda, <laughs> like A Z D A Asda, uh, Marks and Spengers. <laughs> I I went to Hong Kong once, right? I came across Marks and Spencer. Now mm-hmm. I've gone all the way around the world, mm-hmm. but I cannot tell you how much joy I found in finding a shop that we had in England. We're written in English right? It was Marks and Spencer's. Yeah. That was the proper shop. It wasn't it like it had been taken out of Brixton and just yeah, right in the middle of Hong Kong. <laughs> when have you been to Brixton? I've never been to Brixton. <laughs> I don't even know where that is. <laughs> in Jamaica? I think it's London. I don't know. Um, in, yeah. But I, yeah, so I, I I've been I had a job. It took me all the way around the world, and you see all these beautiful markets and shops that you don't get at home. Mm. And where do I end up going? Top man. <laughs> <laughs> oh H and M. I bought clothes while I was away at the other side of the world from H and M. I don't even shop in H and M in this country. Say, you don't do clothes shopping in this country. It must be something <laughs> about. The, like the the fantasy of another country, it's like wow, maybe this H and M is different. Let's go in and see if they sell like ponchos or something. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs>
<laughs> for example, if you're in Mexico, I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. I did, I tell you what I did like though. Being abroad, I went to um, I went to Vietnam, and uh, their currency out there is brilliant. It's called the Vietnamese dong, dong. and it's <laughs> like <laughs> so. I was like, I need to change it. I had American dollars. I was like, so I changed twenty dollars. I think I got forty-two thousand Vietnamese dong. Oh I was like, God. I don't know whether I can buy a house or a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that is mental. Because um, there was a there was a competition on one of the radios uh, the other day, and he was uh, <laughs> and he was explaining like, you know, you can win ten thousand pounds, which is this many dollars, this many yen, this much thing. And then he said like. 100,000 dongs, right? And I didn't, like, he didn't really explain where they were from. He just he just said, and for, for 10,000 pounds, you can get 100,000 dongs. And I was like, that seems inappropriate, but... Who needs that many dongs? I, I don't even need one at the moment. So. But yeah, it's a funny old, funny old world, isn't it? It is a funny old world. Yeah. But, yeah, and I'll tell you what is funny. It's got me thinking, when you uh, slightly not away from travelling back mm. at home... Are you ever in public and like... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Which is weird. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Are you ever in public but you like overhear other people's conversations and they're saying the most daft things or sometimes something that is just... You'll never hear that again. Yeah. Right? I've, I, I, I probably have but I have no examples unfortunately. I believe you... <laughs> yeah, I've got one. You do. This is bad. Well, it's not bad. Hear me, hear me out. So, I was at... I was at... Um, this event over Christmas mm-hmm. and they'd got port a yeah. It was a family event and I was in my port and I could hear a voice of a going on the conversation. It was a dad yeah. with his child in another port and all I heard was this. If you don't touch it, you don't have to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, what kind of a world do we live in where you can teach your child to go to the toilet but like not have to wash their hands they could just spray everywhere but as long as they didn't touch it he's all point, right though. well yeah I suppose but... sometimes I don't what touch it oh <laughs> <laughs> or wash sometimes my hands. you do sometimes <laughs> I don't I like if the toilet is horrendously gross yeah then I may wash my hands but you know sometimes you just think did I really do anything with that no and walk on out Head held high. <laughs> and your hands, I hope. Yeah, well, yeah, not touching anyone, not touching. Yeah, yeah. Not touching, not touching. Uh, all I know is at the end of this, I'm definitely not shaking your hand. No, no. Don't, yeah, we won't do that anymore. No. That's where most diseases come from. <laughs> well, your hands. Me. <laughs> Jake Kearns, don't actually, uh, that is, that's not true. Just for <laughs> any lawyers listening, <laughs> not true. But yeah, yeah. I've, yeah, I've, yeah, that is a. Uh, it's a, yeah, that's weird to teach it is a funny. child that, I think. It um, is funny. But yeah, 23 years later, I am uh, I still don't wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Something else I heard someone say. I, in fact, I was having a conversation with this person, and we were talking about two different things. And obviously, there's the old saying that it's like, oh, you go, oh, it's like chalk and cheese. Mm. We all know what that means. My friend <laughs> went, I, I said it, oh, yeah. and I went, oh, it's like chalk and cheese. And there was a moment of silence. Mm-hmm. And then they just went... Yeah, because you can't eat chalk. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like, he's got, oh, he's got a point. I don't know. He has got a point, yeah. you can't eat chalk. Oh, but... mate, if you eat chalk, that's one of the, that's really disgusting. Be a bit dry, isn't it? Well, I'd like, yeah, I don't like putting chalk on a chalkboard, so putting it in my mouth. See, they still had chalkboards when I was at school. Well, of course they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. No. Well, I, I'm, I'm actually surprised chalk was invented, but... I'll tell you what I did do when I was at school. This is bad. Because mm. did you have... We used to get given milk, like, two days a week. Oh, did you have this? See, I was po- I was after Thatcher, so... <laughs> <laughs> I was before Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me making a political joke. <laughs> Look at Way. you. <laughs> but I used, I used to, every week, I would go... I'd volunteer mm-hmm. to give out the milk on purpose... So that I could steal a few and take it home for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> they called Thatcher the milk snatcher. It was actually it was me. It was Robert. It was me. Robert taking it home for the cat. My God. But do you know what? Thomas had a lovely life. Thomas the cat. Uh, Thomas the cat. That's my middle name. Is it? Not the, Thomas the cat. Oh, just, oh, just, just, just the Thomas. cat. Oh, yeah. sorry, just Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jake the cat Kearns. Oh man. Well, I think we'll leave it there. But uh, I hope you made it this far. Apologies again if you weren't looking for naked ladies. Uh, but we got you in. Have a listen another time. Bye bye for now. Yes, Andrews.